Hunter, how are we feeling about leaving? Sad. <laughs> Fucking sad. But also, like, I'm always sad when things have to change a little bit. And it's, you know, I still think it's, like, sad that we're changing somewhere potentially worse. But at the same time, window light is important. Hmm. But I have too big of a desk to move up there. And I'm thinking about it. Like, I got to downgrade this and I don't want to downgrade the desk. Dylan, how are you feeling? Are you excited to see the sun? Dude, what is this camcorder? <laughs> Dude, that's my camcorder. Are you excited to see the sun? Uh, I love the sun, yeah. This is all because of you, we're moving. Hope you're happy. Uh, I'll go by myself though, if you can stay. Dude, you'd be happy up there all alone? Yeah, that's fine. I like the camcorder. I've been living in this beanie. Beanies are like my safe space. Before my marathon, I kept it on for like a whole week because it helped me stay calm. But yeah, this is the spot. A lot of things happened in here. Honestly, not that much. We all just kind of sat on our computers. We worked. No, we worked. We met so many cool people. That we did. Here. We met. We met a ton of great people. We had an insane amount of people coming through here, and I would not have met that many people if didn't have this location like this. It's not a shitty coffee shop. It's not an apartment. I'm sad to leave this fucking corner though. I don't know why I like it so much. You had. You're the best spot in the office. We had the king spot. We look like your freaking employees over here. Uh, when we had my desk and, I mean, and Dylan's desk. Sit and stare at a wall. I, 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 I don't mind the wall. I don't mind the wall. I don't know. Dylan's happy up there. He's chose to go up there the last like week of us having this. <laughs> I'm the dope spot right at the end. I wish I know. I'm like, wow, why didn't I move up there like six months ago? Do you feel like a king up there? A little bit? He's looking down on us like those That's what I mean. And I just see your head. It's so funny. It's literally like just your little head. Like, <laughs> What do you think is going to happen when we move up there, Hunter? Do you think we're, we're going to kill each other? Homework assignment. He said this is the only thing that matters to read, annotate. He said he gave me a pen with four different colors to outline certain things and to color code it. He said he recently reread this book. And it's an amazing book. It's been sitting and only editing for the last like five weeks straight. Show the book again. It got kind of messed up with the beat. The War of Art. Great book. That book changed my life. I've read that multiple times. After you read that, you should read Turning Pro. That's like his other book. It's all about resistance. Have you heard of that concept? It's like the work. I he writes a note in here and then signs it. I'm not, Casey does? I'm not reading the note. That's fine. Uh, his concept of resistance, it's all about the work you're meant to do. You're going to feel this strange resistance towards it where it's almost like friction to start it because it means so much to you, you know, because you're so, you care so much about how much it matters. It's like the writer who he, oh, he feels like he's capable of this best selling book, but he never starts it because he's worried about actually having to confront his potential, you know? That's a lot of people. That was me like with his YouTube videos. The amount of the resistance I had to start. Mm -hmm. I actually wrote down today, vision greater than virality. I virality heard, is cheap. Yeah, and I was like, the having like, I mean, that guy buy Maximize. Yeah. I met with him and he he made that, he made the comment. He was full of so much wisdom. He just said like, um, it's so easy now to get attention on social media, but you need to have a long-term vision with the virality and then go viral with the long-term vision because it'll only help you. But like set the long-term vision first and then go viral with the long-term vision in mind. And like he has all these different product and brand ideas off of He's like, all I want to be able to do is make a video and post it every single day. The quality might not be the best on every single one, but I'm publishing something every single day that's pushing towards the vision of what I want to create and then you're not focused on the numbers matter because then you're like i need to make spend one hour to three hours every single day make something post it that i like that further gets me towards the vision so he wants to make a video every single day that's his goal but his it's goal, aligned, like, with it, aligned with what he wants like to right make. now on his like sprint of like editing sprint yeah. he's trying to put one out and ride that momentum virality seduces you and it becomes your whole life and you get so addicted to it and your dopamine gets so tapped and it's hard to say no to it. It's hard to say no to it when you know you can go on Slack, write a script, and boom, million views. Boom, million views. Dude, that's not shit's not normal. And well, also it just shows the power of like the way we can operate too, though. Well, it's yeah. like how do we how do you channel that in the right way? Yeah. But I don't know. Definitely for me, it it sent me down a road that I didn't navigate the best. Yeah. I mean, but I'm getting out of it now. It's a form of crack, you know, telling the world what to do, <laughs> and then. We're telling you. I was telling myself. You're telling yourself it was affecting the world, but you weren't doing what you were telling yourself yet, and then you finally took action. Not wrong. That's basically what happened. 
Dude, this is an iconic picture. This is gonna be the thumbnail. Just like with you and your flamethrowers. Actually, they might get taken down, right? Yeah, they all like, UC doesn't like that. Dylan, say hi. All right, that's good enough. <laughs>